Sup and good day gamers, a formal bust here with Orwell, keeping an eye on you, a first impression. But first we have our sponsor, H2O, dihydrogen monoxide, drink it up or die. Oh, nothing better than water. Now let's get into this, Orwell, keeping an eye on you, was released in October of 2016, developed and published by Osmotic Studios, that's O-S-M-O-T-I-C Studios, sorry if I'm mispronouncing it, it's described on Steam as, Big Brother has arrived, and it's you, investigate the lives of citizens to find those responsible for a series of terror attacks, information from the internet, Personal communications and private files are all accessible to you, but be warned, the information you supply will have consequences. Tagged on Steam as Choices Matter, Political Sim, Dystopian, and Indie. Retails on Steam for 9.99 United States dollars. Uh, the only DLC, uh, it's not really DLC, that is available is the soundtrack. You're able to buy that. So, if you want soundtrack separate from the game, you totally can. Okay. This is what you get. You load into the game, this is what you get first time. This is what I got first time, at least. So, welcome, you've been accepted into Orwell. Please, please create a profile. Profile 1, I have settings and what I assume is like the game. So, you know me, settings, there we go. There we go, volume, music. Volume music, volume sound effects, those are fine. Full screen, huh, I was off. Okay, so phone, phone call text speed, we're gonna, oh, nope, it's pull and drag. Okay, that's fine. That was totally fine, yeah, just right about there. All right, and language, English. Okay, so, sorry, sorry, but you have this language. You have German, I believe, English, Espanol, Spanish, French, what the asterisks mean Italian uh, sorry Italiano Italian sorry once again a uh, Cyrillic I believe of some sort um, Bahasa Indonesia again that uh, asterisk I don't know what that means Portuguese Brazil again uh, okay so a good choice good choice could be more but nice to see so many and that's it for settings so okay let's get into the actual game then profile one empty profile uh, create you have been selected for the Orwell test phase. Please cre uh, create a profile, step one of three. Select a profile picture. Okay, I got the, oh, okay. This is all I got, I got. Oh, they're very like polygonal, polygonal. They're made up of polygons, not exactly uniform. Okay, sure, okay. Oh, I don't want, okay, it has to be. Okay. Sure. Next step. <laughs> you may now enter your email address. Okay. Wait, what? <laughs> you may now enter your email address. Enter email address. Optional. I am under 16. Entering your email address will allow us to inform you about updates on your Orwell case, potential new cases, and monthly... Okay. Alright, so... This is interesting. Yeah, this is funny. This is funny, but yeah, yeah, this is funny and interesting. You can. It's them. It's them giving you updates about the game, but it's phrased. Yeah, you're one of. Okay, I wonder if this is true. What is that? No, two trillion. This has got to be. This has got to be farcical, right? I don't know. Maybe. Who knows? I don't know how many games they've sold. So yeah, that's thousands millions a oh, billion so two billion that's more realistic right yeah thousands millions billion. okay yeah maybe they've sold two billion games <laughs> oh man i don't know but yeah so i'm not gonna put mine in but yep that's cool that they kind of gamify it right here all right next step be diligent your work has severe impact please agree to the following terms I am aware that my actions may severely impact the lives and uh, the lives of citizens of the nation. 
I will work thoroughly and judge objectively in the best of my belief. While working, I will adhere to the laws and jurisdiction of the nation. Sure, can I? Ah, okay, so I must, okay. Thank you for ensuring the safety of the nation's people. Your registration is now complete. Okay. Freedom Plaza, April 12th, 2017, 748.43 a.m., I would assume. Oh, gosh. So at one, the clocks were striking 13. Symes, you're online, good. Call me Symes, I will be your advisor on Orwell. Together, we will form both the first and last line of defense against ter terrorism, okay? This test phase, you are one of the first people to try out the Orwell system under real circumstances, selected from thousands of applicants from across the globe. Normally, congratulations would be in order, but as you can see from that footage, there's been an incident, so let's get started. Okay. I've activated the reader tool for you. Okay. Its purpose is storing bookmarks to online websites and documents for easy access and to highlight when there's new information to be investigated. First, I want to, you to be informed of the situation. Our leading newspaper, The National Beholder, will bring you up to speed. That's not... So in this dystopian nightmare, we're being brought up to speed by a newspaper <laughs> for a anti-terrorist. Okay, great, great. Okay. Just called headlines. Okay. Oh my god, you even have a load scroll. God damn it. Yeah, this is realistic. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Okay. Feel free to browse the National Beholder. I've activated the profiler. Open the unknown person's file once you're done. Okay. Okay. Bomb obliterates freedom of mic bump. Sorry. It's, yeah. Okay. The leading newspaper of the nation. Fast, precise, honest. You cannot be both fast and precise when it comes to news. So, that's hilarious. Um, which means their third point, honest, is also... <laughs> oh, boy. Bomb obliterates Freedom Memorial and kills three. Bon ton. Bon ton. Bon ton. Explosion destroys the Freedom Memorial in Bon ton. Bon ton. Three people killed, five severely injured. Authorities receive a strange letter. Negotiations in Trifleef failed? Trifleef, the Pargesian president, aborts negotiations with opposition. Violent riots in tri Trifleef. Blaine encourages renewal. Movie shooting complete. 100 Gray Shadows. Valentine's Day 2018. Written and directed by Sumishi Aran. Rhubarb Productions. Hilbury. Shooting of Gray Shadows. Saga lasting four years. Finalized. Third part of the saga to hit movie theaters next Valentine's Day. Okay. Alright. Let's go with... Yeah. 
Approximately 7.50 on Wednesday evening, an explosive device detonated at the Freedom Plaza in Bonton. According to official police reports, three people were killed, and at least five bystanders were severely wounded. The Freedom Memorial was nearly completely destroyed. Police forces closed off the area immediately. Experts believe the attack was an act of terror, with police confirming that the explosive device was homemade and triggered from a short distance away using a cell phone signal. Okay. Police reports also confirmed that several hours earlier, an anonymous letter contained the first three stanzas of the German folk song, sorry, Germany, Die Gedanken sind frei, the thoughts are free, had reached local authorities. Okay, could be connected or not. Prime Minister Blaine immediately issued a public press statement firmly condemning the assault and put the nation on high alert until the perpetrators have been brought to justice. JP. I do love the inbuilt ads. <laughs> oh man. Shaping visions bit by bit. Okay, that's funny. That's funny. Okay. And okay, their homepage brings you home. Now I wonder. Headlines. Okay, it brings me back here. Oh, headlines is. Oh, okay, I see. So, can I. Can I bookmark? No. Okay, two sword. Okay, whatever. All right, no unknown person. Oh, the profiler holds all known information on those we investigate. The file you have opened is for our main suspect. The blue-haired woman that the CCT footage shows before the assault is no stranger to police. Take a look at the arrest record. Okay. Arrest record. Oh, that's weird. Okay. Okay, of course her last name is Watergate. The highlight elements in the record are pieces of data that are able to be extracted. We call these elements data chunks. Okay. Drag and drop data chunks from the police database into a profile to upload them to our servers. Okay. Okay. Interesting. So just an assault on a police officer. Crucial information, yes. I figure information and documents can only become a data chunk when it can be clearly assigned to a target person. Add the reason for Mr. Wargate's prior arrest that has just been unlocked. We will need this info to progress. Okay. Suspect was arrested on site after Officer Franklin had been struck by an unknown object and became unresponsive. The protester at the the protesters at the origin of the assault were forcibly moved where the suspect was found kneeling and weeping on the ground. Okay, what? God. When asked to lay on the ground with her hands behind her back, the suspect co cooperated immediately. Okay, so whatever. Alright. This seems totally, yeah. Totally like y'all got the right person here. If he was, yeah. Okay. Good. With the data you extracted from the police record, a new document can now be accessed. Now let me ask you a question. Do you believe in coincidence? Jesus fucking Christ. Of course you don't, Symes. Find data revealing where she attacked the police officer and you will see what I mean. What? Find data where? Okay, it just says find data where she previously attacked a police officer. So... Wait, hold up. So we're just straight up, okay. Okay, great. We're just straight up taking news articles and police reports and putting it in a database that's gonna find terrorists. I see nothing wrong with this. This is how all anti-terrorism stuff should be done. Woman allegedly, yes, you're right about that, injured a police officer two weeks ago, remains in custody, trial scheduled for August. This is from 2016. Sandra W. Watergate, hilarious last name, simple protester or anti-governmental terrorist. Uh, okay, according to the police, case that keeps the media and the public guessing, Cassandra Watergate, pictured above, who had allegedly injured a police officer severely two weeks ago, is still being held in police custody. The young woman is accused of having hit the victim's head with a large brick. Okay. 
Yeah, the incident occurred at the Freedom Plaza as part of, the de of a demonstration against the newest amendments to the government's model project the safety bill. So the police report says unidentified object, but editorializing, oh, of course it was a brick. Okay. Sure, we'll upload that. Because it's a coincidence, and coincidences aren't a real thing. The exact same location as the assault, then she turns up right before the explosions? Surely not a coincidence. So you know Miss Watergate is still running around freely. We should find out why. We should also gather more background information on her. I want to know who we're really dealing with. Okay, great. Due to the chaotic nature of the scene, police have not yet been able to connect the crime to the accused. We haven't been able to connect her to the crime, but we have accused her. So it'll sort out well. Oh, she's an artist by profession. So, you know, yeah, great. Has denied the accusations completely and has asked her fans to show their support. A trial has now been scheduled, so we can't connect her to it. We've accused her and we've scheduled a trial. Great. Okay. Trial's now been scheduled for mid-August. The case received nationwide attention when Catherine DeCroix, DeLaCroix, Secretary of Security labeled the alleged... Oh, good. The government... Yeah, high ups in the government already. Yep. Uh, labeled the alleged perpetration, perpetrated alongside the other writers as anti-government terrorists. Okay, great. This is just... Oh, man. One really... Okay. Oh, yes. One, one who does street art by blowing up memorials. Jeez, God damn it, Symes. You're biased as fuck. Uh, great. You found another document. Before we go on, let's clarify your job and how it affects mine. Oh, okay. You have extracted all the information I already know about Ms. Watergate. Starting now, I'm going into this case blind. The Orwell Ethical Codex dictates, of course it's the Codex, that investigators like yourself are the only ones allowed to access the documents of target persons. Advisors like me only get to see the data provided by the investigators. We will then draw conclusions and request action. Your primary job is to provide information you deem important. Never give away incorrect or misleading data. I already have incorrect or misleading data in the file, you numbnuts. Okay, whatever. You may hit disable on data chunk. On a data chunk you do not want to pass on to Orwell. However, some data chunks might be necessary to progress on the to progress on the case. Okay. Okay, so this is, I guess, more information, but whatever. This portfolio, Cassandra's Port. Harboring outstanding art. Okay, that's actually not too bad. Painters, artists, port. Welcome, oh, sorry, I'm gonna. This is more of a visual novel than I thought, so H2O, bringing it in. Hello. Hi, I'm Cassie. Wonderful inhabitant of Wonderland right behind the rainbow. Okay, this is... Yeah, okay. Glad you found me. Finally found the courage to quit my dull day job. Focus on my art career. I don't see how... Okay, that's not relevant. It's, yeah, her, yeah. And put my stuff on port.folio. Oh, I get it. Below, you will find a handpicked selection of my latest works. You can browse through them by clicking on the arrows on the left and right side of the pictures below. See something you like? Why, of course you do, because I'm freaking awesome. Because it's freaking awesome, isn't it? Leave a message on my Utel account. The... Okay, well, like, that would be helpful, I guess. Even though I have no warrant to go look through... Wh whatever. Could we found a chat handle that will allow us to overhear? Okay, go. Oh, I'm... I We're getting a warrant, though, right? The listener has now been unlocked. New conversations will appear whenever they are started. Okay. Tell me which piece you'd like. I'm going to make a fine art print. And ship it right away to your doorstep. Best thing, free of charge. Now off you go and have fun. Tax professional painting pop art varies. Okay. Okay, cool. I can go through our art. Excuse me. I was never sure about the title, though. The Businessman's Forgotten Daughter or Victim of Traditionalism. Okay, sure. Let's see if that unlocks anything. God, I'm so glad. I mean, yeah. I can't. I can't gather data on the cat though. So, yeah, useless. Broken game. 
All right, listener. Okay. What do I got? No communications recorded. Oh, right here. Here we go. Maybe. I don't know. All right, let's go back to her portfolio thing and I guess add everything in here. Yeah, because you don't know what is, yeah, what would be necessary. So you're under the impression that our wonderful Miss Wardgate is really living in one. <laughs> okay, all right, funny. Yeah, what if you pass me something I can identify as wrong so easily? That's to be more careful. Okay, so I was right, and it's all ready. Okay. But, like, that could be useful, I guess. Career changes. And then listener pops up. Okay. Session 13. Uh, yeah, April 13th, session unknown person. Hey, you. Hey, Jose. Can't seem to find my credit card. I assume you took it right. Uh, you got me, Sherlock. I'm in the middle of buying all of Bonton with that platinum card I lifted from your desk. Can't stop me now. Well, oh, she stole a credit card from it. Wow. Jesus. Jesus fucking Christ. I, I believe this is the relationship that they're in. Jesus fucking Christ. Yeah, let me guess. Thought as much. Guess I better pick up shitloads of wine. You'll have to get this client of yours pretty buzzed to handle all that business. One bottle should be fine. She's lightweight. Oh, yeah, they're definitely in a fucking relationship. Oh, whatever. I guess I shouldn't pick up. I shouldn't pick up some of those party pills from Big Pharma, aka my parents. Then, oh come on, I was only teasing. Speaking of parents, when are you going to tell them about it? Yeah, they're fucking totally in a relationship. And yeah, okay, gosh. Okay. And we're just gonna get all this information on them. Session closed. Okay. Watergate Farm Entrepreneurs. That does ring a bell. Okay, took you long enough. Stole a credit card from her fucking boyfriend. Okay. Reader, what do you got? Oh, no, this is where I was before. Cassandra's port. Proce what? Procedure closing raises minute. Okay, sure. Yeah, the procedure closing raises manipulation, suspicions, investigation into. Oh, Orwell informs me you just encountered conflicted data chunks. Whenever the content of two data chunks are at odds with one another, another, those will be shown as conflicted. When you extract one of the data chunks containing a conflict, the others will become invalid immediately. I highly recommend that you clarify the context of the conflict before you proceed, though this is your decision. Once this information has been parsed, there is no way to reverse your choice. Okay. So. Investigation into the malicious injury of a police officer has been dropped good due to local lack of evidence. Speculated the accused parents manipulate. Okay, sure. Triumphant, the suspect's lawyer, criminal attorney Joseph Langley. Bonton, the case that has been the center of the media attention for the last month, has found. Okay, so this is shady as fuck, though. Okay. Sure. Case being closed due to lack of evidence. Oh, this is what I figured. A paid CCT feed did not actually help. Maybe it will today. Okay. So the lawyer's in a relationship with his at least previous. Okay. Yeah, at least his previous 
um, client. That's shady as fuck. Okay, but Watergate, prom, for, really Watergate Pharmaceuticals? Okay, gosh, we couldn't put this together. Watergate Pharmaceuticals enriches lives with our industry-leading range of products, making an important contribution to your well-being. Well-being, not well-being, well-being. Little, little Freudian there. Uh, Watergate Pharmaceuticals, new lemon taste, mood elevating medication. Handle with care, keep away from children. Metherin Blue, mmm, wonder if it's meth. Below you'll find small sections of our most popular products. Oh god, I'm gonna butcher these. Exotil Forte? Cough drops that fight against irritation of the throat based on natural herbs. Compensum. Activating pills against migraines and strong headaches. Focusin, medication that increases concentration and cerebral performance. Okay, so they just sell a ton of drugs. Okay, company. Company name Water. The name Watergate has been inseparable from progression and improvement of pharmaceutical research for more than 80 years. Watergate Pharmaceutical Pharmaceuticals is one of the nation's leading companies in the area of medicine. And at the same time, is the largest medication exporter to all areas of the world. The business, the business of Watergate Pharmaceuticals Inc. has been in the hands of the Watergate family, owning and managing the firm ever since its foundation in 1931. Oh, can I get a job here? Oh yeah, because I want. I hate this job of being a you know, totally legal, just moral snooper of yeah. Okay. All right, cool. So can I? Oh yeah, yeah. I should probably, I should probably do this on my off time. I'm gonna. Oh, they're looking for a COO. Yeah, urgently looking for a CEO. The tired, re <laughs> retired family appointed predecessor. Okay. Mm, research internship. Okay, I'm sure that's paid. Yep. Sure. Whatever. Okay. Oh, company. There's apparently. Oh, okay. Bruno Watergate, chief executive officer. Oh, so he's the one who left. No, chief executive. Where's the COO? Ah, Cassant, who is also... Okay, okay. So she left the CIA. I see, I see. It's all coming together now. Appointed to be the CEO of a pharmaceutical co company, probably by one of her parents. Being an artist and a junior CEO seems quite odd. She also mentioned she had quit a dull job. Yeah, the CEO, genius. Okay. So we joining the executive ranks. Her business. Oh, okay. Oh, now I see. Keeping it a family affair. Crime rate continues to drop. That's good. Documents that you have already reviewed may be updated from time to time as events unfold. The reader will notify you when that happens. Oh. National Beholder just published a new article. You may want to take a look and see if there's any new information available. Just headlines, okay. Crime rate continues to drop. Boston, Bon Ton. Sorry. The Ministry of Security has presented latest numbers on crime statistics in the country. Never before have there been so few violent crimes. Okay. Thursday morning, Minister of Security published the new crime statistic report for the preceding year. According to the report, the number of recorded crime offenses decreased by 4.8% in comparison to last year. Hold on. Yeah, okay. Crime rates have been continuously declining over the past several years as a direct result of the implementation of the safety bill. Secretary of Security Catherine Delacroix appeared very pleased. Yeah, 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 yeah. Confronted with the recent assault in Bonton, she once again admitted the ambitious goals of the government have not yet been accomplished. She further mentioned that activities are currently being established which will have a considerable impact presenting further incidents. Alright, safety bill. Okay, what's the fucking difference though? So safety bill and then the party is elected. Okay. Oh, this is crimes, crimes per capita. Well, per 100,000. Mm-hmm. Safety Bill is a collection of safety-centered laws and statutes created with the ultimate goal to protect the freedom of the nation's citizens. 
Central to the safety bill is the simplified, sped up process of taking investigative measures against criminal suspects and their prosecution, as well as the provision of an increased budget for safety related expenses. Safety bill also paved the way for stricter regulations concerning immigration, there you go, and general travel, there you go, into or transitioning through the nation. It also became mandatory to inform employers whenever an applicant or employee is an ex-convict or otherwise... Okay, yeah, reg okay, because all ex-convicts are potentially dangerous. Oh, that's Vegas shit, because, yeah, is an ex-convict or otherwise regarded potentially dangerous. Jesus fucking Christ. Oh, yeah, just utopian. Uh, since the safety bill has come into effect in 2011, the total number of acts of crime and terrorism committed have been decreasing continuously, and the trend is ongoing to date. Okay. The Pargy's peacekeeping mission? Terrorist incident of 2008 was the terrible consequence of the premature retreat of our troops from Pargy's. Oh, God. This is definitely parodying America. Not at all, I'm sure. Not at all. It's not political whatsoever. Um, n totally a political YouTube channel here. A region torn by civil unrest for years by order of the previous government. To fix our predecessor's mistakes, the party, when elected in 2009, immediately made preparations to send our highly reliable soldiers back to safeguard the region for the good of the inhabitants of both countries alike. After the Pargy's peacemaking, peacekeeping mission had been signed in... 2011, our troops were sent off to the neighboring country to perform tasks including the distribution of, fruit, of aid packages, okay, containing food in addition to health and hygiene products to the mostly impoverished population. Wonder why they're impoverished. The rebuilding of infrastructure, okay, particularly hospitals and schools, this sounds good. Oh, there we go. Upholding the law and public order alongside the removal of war relics such as anti-personnel mines or unexploded bombshells. The second half of that sounds good, but what do they mean by, is it upholding our laws? Are their laws? Okay. Ooh, training local police and military forces. Mm, 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 Due to a recent stabilization in the parties, we have been able to reduce the number of stationed forces while leaving the overall goals of the, peace, of the peacekeeping mission intact. Interesting. Okay, positions. Our oh God, five pillars. Okay, our five pillars for a great nation, safety and security firmly believe in strict safety regulations and mechanisms to preserve the life and well-being of every individual that we deem <clears throat> I'm sorry uh, economy and commerce a strong economy equals a strong society this is why we strive for constant healthy growth okay yeah constant growth never goes bad and is sustainable values and traditions values and tradition our cultural origins as well as the significance of family and communal life. Oh, damn fucking communists up in here. Fucking communal life. Can't believe this. I was all on board until now. Must be cherished. Migration and foreign affairs. Gating, mig Im gating immigration from and intervening in foreign countries are necessities to uphold law and order in our own. Jesus Christ. Education and health. Rock solid education and healthcare systems are the foundations of a great future. Okay. Uh-huh. People. Who we got here? <laughs> Robert Blaine. Prime Minister. Oh, we don't even have a president. Gosh. Prime Minister Blaine, as much remarkable visionary as unmatched leader, is a member of the party. It's weird that the game has made up names for, like, countries and stuff, but then when it comes to political, it's like, the party. Or, the nation. Okay. It's a member of the party in the fourth generation. When the surprising death of the previous leader of the party, Miss Goddard, left behind a power vacuum, it was the young Robert Blaine who stepped up and was elected as the new head unanimously, just as in this exemplary case, Mr. Blaine will take initiative whenever possible and is sure not to relent until the party's ambitious goals have been achieved. Oh, we got a Gallagher. Excuse me, gamers, just getting some H2O. Arthur Scott Gallagher, Secretary of Economy and Trade. Mr. Gallagher, one of the most seasoned members of the party, is in charge of the Ministry of Economy and Trade. As such, he is directly responsible for reduced tax levels for big and medium-sized corporations, as, re as well as the resulting decline of the unemployment rate. Yeah, those are totally connected. Always. 
Catherine Delacroix. We know her, Secretary of Security. Ministry of Security dedicated to the purpose of improving the nation's safety on the interior was formerly was formed directly after the elections in 2009. Just as originally proposed by Catherine Delacroix, Ms. Delacroix was subsequently granted the position of the Secretary of Security. She's best known for the inception of the safety bill, elevating security standards in the country to a new level. Peter Faulkner, Secretary of Defense, the Commander-in-Chief of the nation's forces, does not tire to stress the importance of stability in the nation's neighboring countries. To that end, Mr. Faulkner created the Parji's peacekeeping mission, which played a key role in the prevention of terrorist activities occurring on the nation's soil. Mm -hmm. Projects. Okay, that's just the safety bill in the Parji's. Man, this... Okay. Participate. Become a part of the party. There are many ways in which you can contribute to the nation's success. Becoming involved with the party is a huge one. If you're willing to give your all for a brighter future of the nation and consequently, okay, the world, come and join us. Find out how. Donate. Volunteer. Member. Join the... Uh, what? Okay. Yeah, okay. Join. There's, hmm, that's interesting. You don't see many political... Yeah. You don't see many political stuff in a real world telling you to join the military instead of or in addition to you know joining them up okay where are we Watergate pharmaceutical jobs I thought I did this already what else is here oh yeah urgently that's right oh this is probably what you might have to quit yeah really buddy okay I guess I read one okay Currently, I'm thinking that our Miss Watergate underwent quite a radical change, don't you? Mm, just change of career, whatever. To find out what happened in between these two lives of hers. What may have caused this radical shift. Um, she wanted to do something she enjoyed. That's damn radical, you're right. Uh, a new headline? I did that already. I guess, okay, sure. Let's just go through. Okay, yeah, no, nothing, okay. Cassandra's timeline. Okay. Status, you're invited to tea inside the rabbit hole. Timelines. Cassandra Watergate. Okay, so this is, yeah, okay. Cassandra Watergate, pop artist and free thinker. Okay, so we have her birthday. Hey, it's a good birthday. Uh, artist, musician, place of residency. Good, good, keeping that. That's good. Oh, art, music, activism. What a lineup. You're right. It sounds like a good night new portrait okay we got targets so i assume a band painting alice in wonderland and my cat kikiko sorry kiko i don't know Sandra Watergate posted on march 1st 2017 at 11:01 a.m woo first day of in freedom far away from the shackles of watergate pharma what who's gonna pay for your stuff now mommy and daddy won't like this <laughs> jesus fucking christ listen jake i'm not my, my mommy and daddy's little i'm not daddy's little girl anymore my art already got me a lot of money more than enough to pay all my bills don't worry about me and this is the spot okay Cassandra watergate posted january 2017 and this was march okay despised puppets of the state you have finally managed to destroy us entirely there's nothing left to do but to congratulate you these are my personal wishes to you and to you from the deepest and bestest of my heart. Fuck <laughs> all government lackeys. Okay. I mean. Yeah, now we're going to ignore that. Sweetheart, what's the matter? That totally doesn't sound like you. We haven't hung out from for ages. You got to get out from time to time. You don't, you'll feel much better. Mary, just shut the free your freaking mouth, okay? I am not in the mood for your stupid act. I told you again and again, I cannot deal with this right now. Okay, you know what? I'm really sorry that I, uh, I still care. I am really sorry that I still care about my best friend, no matter how often she decides to give me the cold shoulder. But in that case, that's in the past now. Okay. Okay. So, all right. Confirmate. Okay, it's official. It's... You know, social media official. With the lawyer? Hmm, might be. Oh, you think? The you beholder, actually. Okay, so, August 10th. Okay, 12 days. Whatever. Tw took him 12 days from the article. 
Okay. Beholder actually wrote about me being freaking redeemed. Uh, about me being freaking redeemed of this shit. But surprise, surprise, they had to mention the speculation over my parents buying me out. Makes the click counts go boom, doesn't it? Doesn't it? Oh, can I? Okay. Okay. At least you are redeemed now. Want to blow off steam together with a little late night shopping tour. Mary, not today. I have a date that. Who's the lucky one? Okay. Okay, so August 9th case is closed. And 9th to... So yeah, 13 some odd days. And there are... Yeah, that's not... Yeah. Okay. So, at a concert. Change your hair. Oh. So henceforth, Cassandra shall be known as the world as Kessa this. Okay, I guess. Yeah, so this is when she got an activist group. Is there anything more specific? Nobody. I'm looking for that. Oh, because I guess, yeah, that might be an, yeah, okay. It says our activist group, which might be, yeah, an alias name. You know, people on the web, so many names, so many identity. Yep, you're right. It's always good to rec record every alias. Then we can match data chunks to target persons whenever they whenever they are using them. Okay, whatever. Got anything else here? My Mary, okay, we know, what? Okay, what's the conflict? Okay, yeah, she, yeah, okay, whatever. Whatever. I don't care. Well, we're friends at one time. So you're getting the out-of-date information. Have fun. How sp Okay, buddy. All right, listener, we have another chat, maybe? Oh, no. Joseph Langley. Joseph Langley. Dot, 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 dot. Hey, did you hear about the Freedom Plaza bombing? Don't remind me, you know, I have history. Yeah, he should know. He got you off on the first time. Already fucking me up enough that I have to catch a bus from there every day. Too many bad memories, and now... I was just there moments before this happened. Ugh, I never should have gone to that damn protest. Okay, so she's regretful about going to the protest. Darling, you don't need to justify yourself to anybody, especially not to me. Meeting her presence there before the bombing could be coincident. Yeah, you're right, yeah. Yeah, reserve my thoughts till you find more evidence. So happy when Goldfells accepted me in, what? Into thought, I desperately wanted to go to prove my worth to the cause. Think of it. Oh gosh. Think of it this way: if you would not have gone to the protest, then you never would have been wrongfully indicted, and then we would have never met. Yeah, and I would not have been called a terrorist in all the papers. You're not a terrorist, okay? Ain't I? You sure? Yeah, I'm pretty sure. Oh damn it! What? Your card's not working. You <laughs> can't buy anything. Have you gone bankrupt or something? Jesus Christ. Yeah, real life consequences. Unless you went on a serious shopping spree, there should be plenty of money on there. Guess we'll have to go without the wine then. Ugh. Dot, dot, dot. Dot, dot, dot. Oh. Here's the thing. I've got an important appointment tonight. It's surprisingly out of the schedule and I can't postpone it. You gotta be kidding me. I'm very sorry, darling. We'll see each other tomorrow. Always have an appointment. Appointment here, appointment there, appointment every fucking where. How can you constantly do this to me, darling? Please just calm down. That'll work. That'll work, Joseph. Just tell her to calm down. Oh, she's on drugs. Have you taken your methorin? Yes, damn it. It's the only thing that matters to you well, that I. Oh, okay. Jesus fucking Christ. Darling, please, it's nothing 
like that, you know it. So I keep my mouth shut whenever you leave me hanging. If I don't show up to this point, I'm just losing a very important client. Fine. Don't you understand that? Dot, dot, dot. Oh, gosh. Oh, no, I totally understand. Don't you risk losing that a very important client of yours now. Kathy, don't be like that. I get it. I guess I'm just not that not an important client anymore. Oh, come on, Cassie. Going home now in case I'm getting up on that priority list of yours anytime soon. Please. Okay. And there was another important thing that they said that was highlighted. So happy when God fells. Okay. Called thought. Interesting. Maybe this is what in is what influenced her. And who is God fells? Gold fells. Uh, we should find something that shows current attitude and see if they're following the right person. Okay. They got a healthy relationship, it sounds like. The Thought. Oh, they have a webpage. That's good. Oh, products, because he needs to know what methorin is. I do like how it's... She might be emotionally unstable if she's reliant on this medic. Okay. Yeah, I'm sure. Yeah, as emotionally unstable as you are, buddy. The thoughts are free. If liberty means anything at all, it means the right to tell people what they do not want to hear. George Orwell. Oh, God. Of course they put a George Orwell quote in Orwell. Of course. I mean, why? how could they not? The thought overview. Welcome to the thought blog. Pick an entry below. Freedom is unfree. Thought must change direction, archived, a night to remember, archived, war on indifference, archived, metamorphosis, archived, flawed, archived, an unexpected proposal, archived, the minefield, archived, are the thoughts still free, Arth Okay, so he wanted recent. Okay, published by her. It's cams, cams everywhere, even at the Freedom Plaza. Is it just me, or is it more than a little bit? Is it more than just a little bit? I don't know. Ironic, okay. We were there because we wanted a peaceful process. Hmm. I think this is their actual attitude. We might be barking up the wrong tree after all. Yeah. All right. What we found so far is all good and interesting, but I think we should be searching for something a little more concrete. We have to dig deeper. Okay. Ah, okay. Go back. Goldfells. Can I get any of this in here? I got him. I got Goldfells. I don't know. Listener, what do you got? Oh, Juliet Carrington. Hey, Cassie. Hey, Jules. Just wanted to know... Dot, 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 dot. Your post on timelines about this assault. Really, Jules, you're not going to preach to me about this stupid post, are you? You really shouldn't write something like that. No, I just wanted to know what's, what's wrong, Cassie. It's nothing. Just between the two of us. I just had to let off some steam, you know. It's because of what happened, isn't it? Yeah, and lots and lots of other shit today. Bombing stirred up all of this crap again. You know what I did. What happened there wasn't your fault. Dot, 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 dot. People like saying dot, dot, dot in this game. Cassie, you, you hurt that officer to save me and you succeeded. You mustn't forget about that. That was so brief. How can it not have been my fault, Juliet? I smashed the freaking skull of a father of two children because I lost it. Fuck, 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 fuck. Who knows what would have happened if you hadn't stopped him? And this is why you really should remove this post. Feel like an asshole, the worst kind of asshole. I might be free, but it's, but not really so. I'm not innocent. Oh, Cassie, nobody's innocent. Well, true. You'll have to leave. You'll have to let go. Okay. Wait, what?
What? Where did that come from? This is the perfect. We can arrest her. <laughs> Open the investigation again. However, we probably won't be able to hold her for long if it really happened in defense of this Juliet. Yeah, what a shame. Torture myself with whimsies. Is the achievement I just got. We'll see what that is. Very good work. The intervention team is already on its way. We'll need to wait for confirmation. Next stop, Wonderland, right? Just kidding. Next time, be careful with providing the wrong data, though, okay? In Miss Watergate's case, it's... It's... It was not a problem to get her address with the help of local police due to her former record. Okay. So, yeah. About, what, 40, 50 minutes to get our first, uh, first con, first offender, as it were. Alright, reader, what do we got? Oh, gosh. Okay. So, the thought, Cassandra's timeline. Ha, huh, finally, someone who had the grit and explosives to show... Yeah, it was already solved, yeah. Okay, so it's like cases. So, like, freedom is unfree. Okay. Okay. What do we got here? Okay. So, overview. Do I have any data here? No. Freedom is unfree. Okay. I think we're done then, right? What is the... Uh, listener, reader... J. Police officer, take an antidepressant... Okay. Do we get a new... Oh, no. Obje oh, and hold on. What was that? Torture myself with whim whimsies. Show the rebellious side. Okay. Is your in-game pause menu? Objective solved. Assess Cassandra's attitude toward the assault or violence in general. Okay. Adapt all data from the police record. Okay. So then I guess, okay, no then. Okay, so that's like going back to the main menu. Okay. All right, so what now then? It says go to overview. Maybe there's still stuff here. Oh, 403 forbidden. Wait, no, right here, freedom is unfree. Can I get a new profile person? I totally can. Oh, okay. All right, so then. No, I need entry one. Goldfells, okay, so you got a whole network. Maybe, I can't. Hmm. be glitched then I do not know hmm I have no active objectives oh we do have weather though today is a bright cold day some clouds will show up in the early afternoon only to give way to a clear sky at sundown what are the day the price of freedom is eternal vigilance Okay, sure. Okay, listener. Oh, a new one? Thought about what you said. Maybe you're right. Should take the post down. Be better, believe me. Oh, we got it already, Cassandra. Wait a second, someone is at my door. BRB. Okay, I'll wait.
By the way, how's your boyfriend? You're still together? You haven't been talking about him that much lately. Well, not as much as before. Hello? Are you still there? Cassie? I'll inquire if all went well with the rest of Miss Watergate. You did a good job in any case. Sure. Although we have no proof she is involved in the bombing, we might be able to question her. Oh, good. Give her the third degree, I think they call it. Great. But if we don't get clear evidence she was involved in the assault, she will not stay there for long. We don't have enough against her to charge and hold her. Okay, I just received information that she is now in custody. Very good work indeed. I'm curious about the thought group, though. Whether they... Oh, God. No, no, no. Take a look at the news. Breaking two dead after second explosion. Explosive. Oh, okay. I'm trying to read signs. This is horrible. Two dead. Similar approach. Same letter found. So these assaults are connected. As if that wasn't enough already, Miss Watergate was in custody at the time. So that's her out of the picture, at least for this attack. Ugh, this comply complicates matters massively. So much for our simple test case. Yeah, that's usually what happens. Yeah, when you investigate. Yeah, random people. Okay. Need to speak to my superiors. See how we are to proceed given these extenuating circumstances. You did good today. You can log off and get some rest by clicking the button on the top right of the desktop. Try and get some sleep. I have a feeling the next few days are going to be trying at best. Okay, so second explosion off of Stelligan University at Bonton. Yep, and there was an ad for that that has been received just before the crime. Half an hour ago, the explosion occurred at the campus of Bonton. Okay, yada yada. According to unconfirmed statements, the city administration office of Bonton received an anonymous letter just minutes prior to the detonation, which again contained the three first three stanzas of the German folk song. We will inform you about the developments on this event as further details are available. Okay. So yeah, we can log out for the day. Okay, yeah, sure. Okay, so based on... Okay, so each day I get a summary. Based on the data you submitted, we have learned the following. Assault on Freedom Plaza. Severe assault occurred at the Freedom Plaza. Yes, Cassandra Guardier was present then prior to the assault and is thus being investigated. Yeah, that, that's turned out well. Activist group Thought. Hints of the involvement of an activist group named Thought have been found. Second assault at the university. Yep, this suggests Cassandra Guardier is either not the only perpetrator or not involved at all. Okay. Cool, cool. And then I just go next day or main menu. I'm going to go main menu. Yes. So main menu. So that's kind of, I guess, the basics. I guess you're going to get a lot more involved after that. But that's been almost an hour now. Uh, I have profile. Oh, it's just profile one, profile two. Okay. So yeah, gamers. I'm going to leave it here. This is Orwell. The music's kind of background, understated, not really forefront. Um, art style, consistent. I like it. This kind of realistic, you know, but still also abstract polygons everywhere. It's nice. Yeah, much more visual novel um, than I thought it would be. I thought it would be more about the connections and everything and, you know, analyzing footage and evidence and stuff. It's a lot more, uh, I guess, web-based. Um, yeah, web-based and uh, document-based. So, I mean, definitely interesting. I'll probably check it out some more. But uh, I'm going to leave it right here for now, gamers. This has been Orwell keeping an eye on you. Uh, thank you for watching. Feel free to do all this stuff. I have been a formal bust. Until next time, take care and drink some H2O, gamers.